so in this video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Mac OS terminal and I'm gonna take it from this simple ZSH prompt and make it look something like this so you can see that it's showing the directory name it's showing that I'm on um, an Apple system which means that even if I log in remotely it's going to show this prompt here it has these nice icons it shows me that I need a commit that I need to push so let's see how we can get this alright so so to do that first of all we need to download another terminal because this one lacks a few features and that is the terminal that I use so it's called iterm2 I'm just gonna google for this we're gonna land on their website we're just gonna click download click save and uh, let's wait for it to finish so here it is and now I'm gonna move this to my applications folder now I'm gonna minimize this and I'm just gonna open iTerm open okay okay so now it is open and uh, just I'm just gonna confirm if I'm running ZSH yes so Mac OS now comes by default with Z shell so we don't need to install that the next thing we need to do is we need to install oh my Zosh or oh my ZSH whatever you want to call it so we're just gonna go and we're gonna search for oh my ZSH and then click install oh my Zosh and we're gonna simply copy this into the terminal and paste it here and now we're gonna let it finish alright looks good now you can see the prompt has changed a little bit so the next thing is I'm gonna have to search for power level 10k and this is the theme so it's all you have to do is you have to just click on install power level 10k and then click oh my gosh and then this is the link you just copy this come back to the terminal and paste it so this might actually ask you to install Xcode tools because Git is basically that comes with the uh, command line tools so I already have them if you if it asks you you can just install them um, at this point what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit the uh, ZSH uh, resource config file and to do that I'm just gonna say open dot zshrc okay and here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type power level 10k forward slash power level 10k I'm gonna save this and quit this and then I'm just gonna restart the terminal so let me just quit this again I term uh, check automatically no problem so there you go now it's gonna install the font for me and this is necessary you must install this font so I'm gonna click yes like I actually typed Y here let it finish so the font is installed now please restart item 2 for changes to take effect so all I have to do is hold command and press Q I'm just gonna quit this and I'm gonna launch it again right so now it's asking me does this look like a diamond I'd say yes 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 
yes I would like I personally like rainbow style for myself make sure you select Unicode at this point uh, no I don't want to see current time angled sharp round two lines disconnected left frame light sparse many icons concise yes verbose yes okay and this is it this is all you need to do to improve your Mac OS terminal now if you open any repository it's gonna show you um, let me just see if I can find some um, yeah let's yeah so this is one of my repos as you can see um, this icon here shows that this is being hosted on github this is the directory there is one file which has changes so you can see this file is modified therefore it's it is it is showing that this file is uh, one file has changes so I could just uh, reset this and uh, so when it is green it means the directory current directory is clean I could actually create a new file so I could say test file or txt now this question mark means that there is one untracked file so if I go to see the status you'll see that this file is not even tracked by git and if I modify an existing file it's going to show me that there is a uh, you know file that was not uh, mod that was modified but is not committed and if I commit a file then it's going to show me that I need to push make some changes and push to the remote repository so it's going to show an up arrow so for example if I do uh, git commit test message okay so this is a new mac os a new macbook so I have to configure this uh, with my username so first I'm gonna add this and then I'm gonna commit it right so now you can see that this there is one commit that I need to push so uh, quite a few things you can uh, this this terminal shows you quite a few things it looks nice other than that you can actually configure this terminal itself maybe you know tweak it a little bit um, you can make the background uh, transparent um, so many many things can be done about this uh, for example I would like my background to be a little bit um, transparent so let's see if I can do that there you go and I can even make it blur a little bit so no problem the performance it is acceptable for me because I like things to be more uh, fun to use alright so this is it I hope it helped somebody like and subscribe and see you guys later